Parker coming at you here on Spin and Fire. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll catch you on the next stream. Thanks for kicking that like button. Thanks for checking out this awesome stuff. But we're going to talk a little Chicago Fire real quick here before we go. We're going to talk about this game. Talk about what we saw. Really liked what we saw here from Chicago Fire. They, they came out and they dominated this game. DC United did not really look into it at too much. Besides Julian Gressel, who was really trying to push the bill. He put the pedal to the metal. But other than him, this DC United team was lackluster. Chicago Fire, though, a very dull knife. And a very dull knife. It's very hard to cut bread with a dull knife. And uh, Chicago Fire needed to tight, sh sharpen that. It, it, but what's worse than a dull knife is just being... Um, is not being a knife at all. It's just being an amorphous block of clay that uh, bends to the whim of your opponent and lets them do anything you want and really amounts no defense or attack whatsoever. That's kind of what we saw at DC United. Chicago Fire, very blunted blade. Couldn't cut the clay. They're like, uh... Uh, uh, they couldn't do <laughs> and finally they made uh, finally just uh, one they managed to slice through make one little notch right there in the clay get get it through one nothing and it's gonna be fabian herbers of the z soccer podcast getting win one over his uh, z soccer podcast teammate or uh co-host Julian Gressel, things you love to see, especially as a, Chicago, as a Chicago Fire fan. Thanks for joining us here on Spinning Fire, guys. Love to hang out with you guys, talk banter, talk Chicago soccer, talk soccer in general, talk a little MLS. We'll catch you on the next stream. You guys are the best in the world. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, check out our other content, though. We've got some fun stuff. PMNT, Lego, Fortnite, other streams like this. We've got some cool emojis that, we, that you can unlock. Cool, awesome content. And uh, really what it comes down to, though, is Chicago Fire were sucking balls and they stopped sucking balls today. They were chomping at the bed. They needed this opponent. This was the perfect opponent that you could take that dull blade. To start sharpening it a little. Just start sharpening it. Sharpen it, sharpen it, sharpen it. And then let's see. Maybe we can make some uh, make a better move against one of the next few matches here against uh, Houston Dynamo. June 25th or Philadelphia, June 29th. Those are two Houston Dynamo. They've been playing OK, haven't they? Haven't Houston Dynamo actually been kind of surprising? Nope, they're not. They suck. They, they're the usual Houston Dynamo. 80 points, 10th place. That's a game you need to circle. That's a game as a Chicago Fire player. You need to go and win that. Another game. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is pretty, pretty good. Philadelphia in third place in MLS. So that's going to be a hard game. We, we, we can't count that too much as uh, as anything. That's going to be at Soldier Field, though. So if they could get a draw out of that, that'd be immense. Immense draw. So let's say win, draw, and then you got to get a win against San Jose. And all of a sudden, things are looking back on track for the Chicago Fire. That would be huge. I mean, uh, let's let's see. So seven, 17. We are up at seven. Oh, wait, is this updated? No, we're at 14. I thought, were we at 11 points before this? Shit. So with two wins, 17, 20, 21, we could be right around here, depending on how these guys do. But put us right back into contention, which is what the Chicago Fire need to do. Just a couple wins. Just stack a couple wins for Ezra Hendrickson. Get things going right. Get confidence reinstalled in the project here at Chicago Fire because right now there's questions. But I'll tell you this as a Chicago Fire fan that's been along for the ride since 1997. I've been here. This team is better than last year's team. This team is better than two years ago's team. This team is better than three years ago's team. This team is better than the last t three t years of the last three years. I'm sorry, the teams the last three years for Chicago Fire. It's better in every position. The one thing it does have is a brand new coach. A number two who's trying to become a number one. I think that Ezra Hendrickson has the chops to do it. He's got the pedigree. He's got the learning. He's got the learning capabilities. He's got the numbers in his background. He's got the experience to do this. But still, this is his first job. It's on him to be able to figure it out. It's on him to reinstall confidence in the troops, in the men in red. Can he do it? I like to hope he can. Let us know in the chat in the comments below if you guys think you can, and we will catch you on the next stream. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell icon, 
and I think I will catch you on the... Hello? Oh, hold on, chat. Somebody's at the door. Oh, it's you! Of course. Thanks for joining us here at Spinning Fire. I greatly appreciate you guys kicking that like button. Kick it! <laughs> And uh, subscribe to Spinning Fire. Hit that bell icon if you want to join Spinning Fire. Send me a super chat. Send me a super thanks. I greatly appreciate it. Helps me buy a beer. Helps me buy my puppy more treats. And I greatly appreciate it. Does a lot to help me run through more walls for you guys. People are dropping in in Fortnite. One of my favorite games. Wow. Love it. No build mode. And build mode. Just the same. Been playing with the bros. Playing with the homies. Been having a blast. Wow. Also played a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, and it was like going back into Chuck E. Cheese 30 years ago and just having a ball. The best video game. It's seriously a perfect video. It feels like it was made for me. So if you're on the fence about TMNT, go check out my gameplay. See you. Like I played on the hardest level, gnarly mode, and once you beat the story mode on gnarly mode, I think you unlock an even harder mode. So that's something we're gonna be doing here on stream. Right now we were just playing via arcade, having have some fun with some other people. But man, oh man, it is fun. I am having so much fun with TMNT. It is a blast. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. And also, I'm riding the highs of the Chicago Fire win. Amazing. Beautiful. Finally, we're back to bask in the sun again. Let's go. We're back. We needed to be. Chicago Fire needed this win badly to get back on track, to set things back on track. Even still, even with that win, we're still in last place of MLS. A lot of work needs to be done. Need to capitalize on the next opponent, which is Houston Dynamo, a team that struggles for wins. Can Chicago Fire take advantage of that with this blunted attack without Jordan Shakir, without Jairo Torres? It remains to be seen. I think they're gonna be in trouble, but to get a win without those guys tonight at home at Soldier Field? That's gotta be a huge feeling for the boys and the men in red. Rafa Chico's has gotta be in there to say, yes, this is our house. This is what we do. Let's make this what we do every time at Soldier Field. Let's make winning a habit at Soldier Field. That's probably what Rafa Chico's is saying. Cause we gotta send these, these fans home happy, whether or not they're, whether they're watching live on stream, whether they're watching next year on Apple Plus, Apple TV Plus, or watching live in the stadiums. And we gotta get Chicago fans foaming at the mouth. Successful Chicago soccer. It's what they wanna see. They wanna see fun, successful Chicago soccer with goals and defense and action and excitement. Maybe a spectacle or two along the way. Some fun excitement. And can Chicago Fire make the playoffs? Right now, they're not even close, but Two, three wins right here in the next few weeks. We're going to be right back to knocking on the door. And when you watch that MLS graphic, you know the one I'm talking about. They release about mid-season and the end of season. Basically, it shows like Chicago Fire. It'll show them right here. It'll show them boost up to the top, go to about second place. And then it'll show them rocket down to the bottom, go towards last place of MLS. They're going to be riding, riding, riding. Then they'll go back up towards middle. And they're going to ride up right to the middle. And right about sixth or seventh place in MLS and get that playoff spot. Let's go. Because this team is better than an 11th place Chicago Fire players, Fire team that we saw last year. This team is so much better than that 11th place Fire team that we saw the, last year. Does that mean they're a 10th place team? Does that mean they're a 9th place team? Does that mean they're 8th place team? I don't know. Because here's the other fact of the matter. The other teams in MLS all still, all still try to improve at the same time. Did Chicago Fire improve enough to put them behind... Chicago Fire and Chicago Fire take over a playoff position in an MLS Eastern Conference. Remains to be seen, but I'm excited to see it. We're going to be along for the ride here on Spinning Fire. Greatly appreciate you guys hanging out. Kick that bell icon so you get notified of our live streams. We do a lot of special cool stuff over here besides MLS streams and soccer streams and UFC streams and all sorts of fun little sports streams. We also got a little Fortnite action for you, a little TMNT, lots of fun other games along plan for you guys. Thanks for joining us here on Spin Fire. I love to run through walls for you guys. Love to hang out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Fire it up, footballers.
that solo chat
Alright! Let's get it, boys! Let's get another rip! Let's get a chat! Up all 
not to have fun Up all night in the dub club Up all night in Chicago We out, we out to get lucky Fired up footballers, have a good one. Watch the stream.